Now to what's being called a medical breakthrough. The FDA approved a nasal spray that could treat some forms of depression. But there are some serious concerns over this new treatment. ABC 7's Michelle Gallardo has that story that is new at 430. Up to 60 million Americans are estimated to live with depression. Of them, one in three don't respond to available treatments. Enter this nasal spray. In what's considered the biggest breakthrough drug in the battle against depression since Prozac, the Food and Drug Administration this week approved the use of esketamine with the potential to deliver nearly immediate results. A lot of the antidepressants that we're used to, such as Zoloft, Prozac, Lexapro, um, takes four to six weeks to work. Esketamine works in a week, and that's very exciting. Marketed under the name Spravato, the spray is a derivative of the popular drug ketamine, popularly known in the 1980s as Special K. It's prone to abuse. It's also been administered intravenously for years to treat depression, but without FDA approval and at a very high price. There are doctors who have been giving it off-label um, in clinics and private practices, but uh, the intravenous use requires uh, anesthesiologists, more monitoring. Because of its potential, the drug was fast-tracked by the FDA, but like ketamine, it can have dangerous side effects, including hallucinations, which is why it's considered a drug of last resort. This is for patients who have tried multiple medications. The drug will stay in the doctor's office because of the risk, the high risk of abuse potential. I mean, this is special K. So while it does show promise, such are the concerns surrounding the drug that even though Northwestern Medicine was a part of the clinical trial, they have not yet decided if and when they will administer it to patients. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.